We've got standards here. You watch it or you're out. Well, uh, what, what are you here for? He couldn't pay Hello. me enough to give him a smile. Hey, baby. Oh. All right, all right, ne never mind that. Okay, girl. I've been dreaming of iron like this since I was a boy. Damn fine piece right there. I've been practicing. <laughs> Told you I was good. Ha! Oh, oh I'm sure. Good, I guess. Look, eyes closed. Ha! You sure that's the trick? <laughs> Gotta be confident. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, that's too much now. Oh, good God. Oh, God. Just leave me alone. Sweet heaven. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Then it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. What 
you want? Found something. Out in the hills. Thought, thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. <laughs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> Though it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the Road Saloon. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Hosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <clears throat> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> I broke poor Mammy's heart. <laughs> there, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad now. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. My brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. 
Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Just hand out the liquor. drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor <laughs> thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll have more drinks. A gift. Just keep them coming. Catch us all. Go drink up. Don't be shy, boys. Don't be shy. <laughs> Mr. Gray won't be happy about this. Ben, grab another bottle. Try to go around. Where's the man on there? You, me, you're the bastard who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump, we're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, 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 no. I want both those sons of bitches dead. Raiders. You did a good job, Arthur. Coming after us. I see them. Well, shoot them then. You think we wouldn't find you? Hi, Miss Arthur, coming out of the alley. What's your back? We run the liquor around here. Stay the hell out of our business. Damn it, they're still coming. That's him down with. Look out, four of them. I want both those sons of bitches dead. Words will have you, boy. How many are there? 
They really aren't happy about this. Ah! Your fools are playing the wrong game. Train! I see it! Made it! Think you can steal from us? You're dead men! Good shot! Yeah. It's a real bad boy! Hey, hit the moonshine! Don't think so. Jesus, all this over a few bottles of booze? I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Okay. Pull off the road here. Good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career in... What was it? Advertising. Yeah. Do you think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithway woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Arthur? I'm too old for this. Living in tents. On the run. By my age, I thought I'd be living join on us, some Arthur? farm somewhere. Having some serving girl feed me freshly peeled grapes and another massage on my feet. Funny how things turn out. Said I'm stuck in the wilderness with you degenerates trying to stay warm. 
still. Guess all that luxury run me to fat, and there ain't no getting fat out here. Now my old hat green shawl eats triple rations. Enjoy yourselves. I gotta get on. Pearson? Sir? You stir so much shit, I'm surprised your hands ain't stained brown. That's just the booze talking. You think you're so clever. What's wrong Whoa, with you? Old as had a wife to mourn for his life. Three children, oh, they Pearson were brave. For the pie. Stop it! This ain't funny! Oh, I All disagree! Now, why are you so afraid of a pair of gelden tongs? <laughs> I thought you were the horse you expert! Ain't that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, go on. <laughs> it ain't like you got balls, anyways. <laughs> Oh, hell's half acre. <laughs> oh, hearing him. Oh, oh, my balls. <laughs> like that'd be enough. You gonna get out there and make some money? Oh, shut up. You've done nothing since you got back. Why are you so threatened by me? Lazy bastard. You're rattling the wrong cage. Use a slug of whiskey in this. Maybe after lunch, hey? Ladies? Morning. Hi there. So, you ain't bored of this place yet? I guess not. Arthur, what you want, Micah? Nothing. I'm just being civil, my brother. Well, hello there. You really are a very charming man, aren't you? Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. 
They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. Hello. Morning, Arthur. Come on. It's this way. On me. Ta. I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lamorne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a... Uh, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right? Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shiny. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. 
heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there, a wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back, they look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow, at least. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. wall up there. Bring your sighted rifle, okay? I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. You see anything through your scope? Just a moment. When you've had a look, tell me what to do. Down by the road, we do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? <sighs> got a Gatling gun up there, too. Well, they got that house locked down real tight. You ain't seen anything worth shooting or stealing? Can you look again for me? You got men covering the house. All right, some tents. Look over to the left. Hey, you might want to look over to the right. I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot. Then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. Gonna hit them head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. So... You gonna make a move? We're here for your guns and your money. Give them up. Oh, there it goes.
Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. Let's search these wagons, okay? You got anything? Not yet. Hey. This could be promised. What do you got? Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like them, you know? Well, so do I. Against my better judgment. Just, you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... Then nothing but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah. Hey, the camp's in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Stay away from me. Oh, but, but I got Arthur, a tip. Arthur's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. <laughs> it always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning oh. barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. 
Sad man indeed. My lord, but mark my words, one of these days, Karen will slit on Grimshaw's throat. You good? We all hate her, but Mary Beth is sort of peaceful, and, and Abigail, she doesn't have time for that kind of nonsense. And I don't care enough, and Miss Adler, well, she may slit any one of our throats, come to think of it. But, but Karen, Karen hates her more than anyone, and she hates Karen. And Karen ain't one to hate unwisely. I've seen her cut men up more than once. If Grimshaw goes missing, I'll give you 20 to 1. Karen did it. Only she won't slit her throat. She'll cut her throat clean out and drink her blood. Mark my words, boys. How about you keep me company? Really, Mr. Bell? You flatter me. Tell me some stories about when you was young and pretty before time ravaged you. Oh, you horrible man. <laughs> That's right. Mmm. He's still here. Arthur. <laughs> 